Information Technology Cape Unit 1, Module 2, Objectives 1 and 2. The lesson requires us to describe information technology system. And for such, we must be able to define it, give types of information technology systems, as well as its examples. We'll also be looking at the components of an information technology system which includes hardware, software, network, users, end users, and professionals of IT, and be able to provide definitions and examples of these. Now, information technology systems have evolved in many ways over the last 50 years since the introduction popularly. The use of computer systems and telecommunications equipment that are used primarily to store to retrieve, transmit, and manipulate data is considered to be an IT system. Any system of technology that includes the use of computers and telecommunications equipment to store, retrieve, transmit, and manipulate data is considered an information technology system. The term is sometimes used to describe computers and computer network. However, it opens up itself to include communication taking place via telecommunications or telecommunications um, technology, such as televisions and telephones. In describing information technology systems, we must be totally aware of hardware, software, the electronics, different semiconductors components inside computers. We must be able to speak about the internet, telecoms equipment and computing services that are used on these systems. Now, in the book Management Information System by Oz, Oz gives a very good um, definition of term information technology from where the term information technology systems is sometimes lightened with or is accepted as being synonymous. IT refers to all technologies that will collectively facilitate the um, construction and the maintenance of an information system. When we speak about a system, we think about um, equipping organization with um, software and hardware technologies to carry out information processing. These include sometimes enterprise um, systems applications that are designed to serve the organization by minimizing the needs for human data entry to ensure timely inputting of data, useful information being provided to the organization, especially its supply chain, being its consumers, customers, and other stakeholders, as well as to look at manufacturing, shipping, billing for the customers and the collecting of information. Now, in my opinion, the term IT systems includes information systems. Again, according to us, in his book, MIS, um, in his book, MIS 6th edition by F.A. Oz, it said that an information system must consist of data, hardware, software, telecommunications systems, people, and procedures. Of note, one must be able to look at each of these and be able to define them clearly. Let's speak about data. Now, data, is, we know, is any input of some raw material that is placed into the computer for the primary purpose of information being produced. We always think of data as having no meaning. Data is not used to make decisions. And as such, data must always be processed in order for us to gain information from it. Now we must also we must also think of hardware. Hardware, as you may know, speaks to the computer and every single peripheral devices, every single equipment that makes up the computer. Some hardware are considered internal components, but some and most are normally seen on the outside by its users. These external hardware 
that are connected to the system unit are said to be peripheral devices. These include input devices such as keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick, output devices that are used to display information, whereas input devices are used to supply data to the computer. Output devices would include the use of monitors, printers, plotters, and even projectors. Storage devices may also be considered a hardware component of a computer. Some storage devices like diskettes, computer hard drives, CDs, are very important as it relates to the keeping of information for future or long-term use. We must also think about other storage devices, which includes flash memory, um, zip disk. We must also think about um, flash memory cards that are becoming popular, holographic memory storage, the use of memory chips. SIM cards would also come under flash memory storage devices. Hardware should also include data communication equipment such as the modem and any other device that is used for the purpose of transmitting and communication of data. Software. Software speaks to any set of instructions that tells the computer what to do and it also assists in how data is taken into the computer, how it is processed, how the data will be shown on the screen, as well as how data and information will be stored. Software speaks about programs. These can include application software used by the user to carry out tasks, such as word processing software that are used primarily to prepare documents that are text-based, but may also include pictures and images. They include spreadsheet software, which is used for data manipulation, storing data and tables, and carrying out numerical analysis. There are also system software that are used to be responsible for the operations of the computer. These include your operating system software, your utility software program, and utility programs. Telecommunications. These hardware and software tools are used to ensure and to provide fast, reliable transmission and the reception of text, pictures, sound, animation and video or any other form of data in electronic form being sent over some communication channel. People are very important in information technology system. The people speaks about IT system professionals and end users of computer software or devices and these persons help to um, analyze the information of an organizational need. They look at designing, constructing information system, writing computer programs as it relates to IT professionals. However, we look also at the we look also at the persons who operate um, computer software and hardware organization. We must also go one step further to speak about the people that without the people, many information systems will not be able to be operated as people are normally the primary source of initiating data input or any form of input into computers. Some automated systems are able to put data into the computer directly. For example, driving through a toll boot, the toll tag on the glass, upon reaching the gate, the sensor reads the toll tag and then determines whether there's enough money on the card to provide, uh, provide passage through a toll gate. Now, we need to speak about also the procedures that are used in IT-based system. Now, procedures speaks about rules for achieving optimal and secure operations in data processing. These procedures include prioritizing the dispensing of software applications and security measures 
to ensure our computer systems are provided and provide accurate responses to its users and are always being used at its optimal level. The procedures are normally things we do, how we do them, when we do them, and under what conditions do we initiate any preventative measures. Procedures must always be followed in an IT organization. In IT systems, one of the procedures we use is that diskettes and other storage devices must be checked for viruses once uh, connected to our computer system. That is a procedure. We also speak about IT procedures in terms of the procedures that are required for backing up um, data, recovering data, and procedures that are involved in upgrading software routinely, as well as carrying out routine cleaning of the computer system. Basically, different types of information system. Information systems have already been described for you. Now, information systems, there are basically, there are many types of information systems. Three of these are transaction processing system, which supports operational management, supports persons who are the lower level of the organization managerial hierarchy. At this level, structured decisions are made. There's also the management information system. These are used in the middle management of the organization and they are used for tactical management operations. Decision support systems are used at the top level of the organization to make strategic decisions. These are normally unstructured decisions that require some kind of human interpretations of its data. Let's go into details of the different types of information systems. Transaction processing systems. These systems are used to process business transactions of an organization. A transaction can be described as any activity that takes place in an organization. Every time you go onto a bus or you use your JUTC smart card on a bus or you ride a train and you have to put a, a, a tag, a toll tag or a card in the machine that reads the card then a transaction is created. A transaction is an activity of information processing, some might say. Now, every time you make a phone call, a transaction is created. Every time you send a text message, a transaction is created. Now, transaction processing system allows for high-speed, accurate processing of record keeping and ensuring that there is a calculation storage retrieval of this information that has been processed. Each piece of transaction, therefore, should be considered as data. Now, transaction processing system should provide speed and accuracy in data processing, and these systems can be programmed to follow routine transactions and the routine functions in an organization. Therefore, at the end of the day, when a, let us say, a phone card machine is being cleared, the supervisor punch in a code, and that code will run a transaction report to produce all the transactions that are processed for the entire day. We now look at management information system. Management information system, a system that is used to assist middle management and low level management in problem solving and making decisions. They use the results on the transaction processing system and some other systems in place. One of the important elements of, of a management information system is the database systems on which they are built. A database has a non-redundant collection of interrelated data items that can be processed through various programs and made available to different users. Management information system, for example, when the, the supervisor clears the machine of all the transaction process, they will know how many different um, values of each phone card was sold 
and be able to ascertain what is the total uh, income from the sale of those cards of different values. Decision support system. A decision support system should always be considered as a system that assists top level management and organization to make long term decisions. These systems handle unstructured and semi structured decision making. A decision is considered unstructured if there is no clear procedure for making that decision and if not all the factors to be considered are known and can be identified in advance. Decision support system must be flexible to provide all or most of the required inputs in order to assist management in making and coming to some agreement of a decision to be made on some kind of activity. If most persons are purchasing $100 phone cards or machine, then therefore it may be more prudent for the machine to be allocated more $100 phone card than $1,000 phone card. If those $1,000 phone cards are not, pur not purchased very often, the user must be able to produce customized reports from the system, giving particular data in the format that management requires in order to make a decision. Just for your knowledge, additional notes are provided on the different types of information system, including executive support system and also EIS system, which are sometimes very popular in organizations. Definitions are as follows. Transaction processing system, application of information system that processes business transaction data. It uses operational level of management and focuses on data. An example is computer application for typing. Management information system, application of information system that aims to provide information using the field of management, such as management oriented reporting. Example of these systems include application for hospital services, pharmacy purchasing, scheduling of production machinery, and others. Decision support system, applications of information system that provide decision-oriented information and especially useful in situations where decisions must be made. An executive level, often called an executive information system, may also be one of such systems. For example, a computer application to determine the purchase of drug stock at an hospital to determine the amount of sugar distribution system as well as others. Expert system must be considered as a system that produces decision by reproducing knowledge and expertise of decision makers and problem solving and simulating it. These systems are loaded with knowledge and therefore makes decision based on the knowledge that it consists. These systems are used in artificial networking of computing, facial recognition, and they may also be used in loan processing. Office automation systems are pretty common and very familiar. These systems support the day-to-day -day operations of the organization at the office level. So systems may include enterprise resource production or planning systems. Finally, we look at the various components of information system or information technology system. Components of information technology include computer hardware, which refers to a collection of physical elements that makes up a computer system. Computer hardware refers to the physical parts, the physical components such as a monitor, keyboard, hard drives, diskettes, mouse, printers, graphic cards, sound cards, memory, motherboard, etc. All of these are physical objects that can be touched. Later, you would understand that computer software goes in contrast to what hardware are. Computer software, or the term just software, is a collection of computer programs and related data that provide the instructions for telling the computer what to do and how to do it. 
Software refers to all programs and procedures, even the algorithm, but most importantly, refers to the documentation concerning operating the software, its data processing system. We look at computer software and mention the term programs. Some persons use the term program to also mean computer software. Software is sometimes used in many ways to carry different tasks, different jobs on computers, a computer network. A computer network is sometimes referred to a collection of computers and other hardware devices that are connected by some communication channel which has the primary purpose of sharing resources such as printers, other devices, and the primary purpose to also share information among several users. In a network, one device is able to send and receive data to and from one or more devices. These devices can be near to each other or far away from each other are said to be remotely. The two devices are said then therefore to form a network once they can send and receive data. A network is also a group of devices that are connected to each other to facilitate data transmission. Networks may be classified by a variety of characteristics such as the medium that are used to transmit the data, what are the communication protocols used, the different size of the network, sometimes called its scale, the different configuration of a network, called its topology, by its benefit, and by its organizational scope. Some networks that are very popular include metropolitan area network, wide area network, local area network, just to name a few used in many organizations. The users are widely users are widely characterized as a class of people that uses a system without complete technical expertise required to understand the system fully. So every person who uses a computer is considered his user. Persons who use ATM machines do not know exactly how do they work, the intricate detail of the network configuration, but they do understand how to make the best use of the system. Users are sometimes classified as end users, people who use this product or services or devices in order to carry out some activity. The term is useful to consider any person that makes use of a computer. The term end user normally implies an individual that has some kind of skill in computing, maybe moderate or low skill in computer expertise, but are able to operate computer devices and software. IT professionals will speak directly, train persons who have ascertained some type of professional training in computing or related services and may have attended colleges, may have attended universities, or taken courses online or in person, be it long or short. And these persons are trained and are therefore hold um, IT positions in organization. These may include database administrators, computer network engineers, IT specialist trainers, educators of computing, special design and animation artists, and the list continues.